Of Graham, your mind is strong. <gasps> Hmm, looks like that was it. I thought there would be more, but if there's too many, I guess they might be overstaying their welcome. You really want to take that? Toxic fumes. Oh, that's the sign of my strength. Okay. How come we never... Was that... Was that cave always there? I'm just wondering how we never saw that germite when we were here before. <sighs> Look at the beautiful sunset. Sunset. The stage of life that Graham is at. <laughs> I'm going with that metaphor. Graham is afraid that when the sun sets, it'll just be darkness. But it won't be. Excellent. Right this way, please. You wanna talk to me more? Nope. Alright, Manny. Well, where is he? Meow. Charmed, I'm sure. Oh. <laughs> Are you kidding me? You wish to challenge me like this? Careful what you say, King. My species has no bearing on my abilities. Scratches on Mordok's face. I have no face. problems with cats, Manny, or goblins, or sphinxes. My issues are all with you. No matter. The duel hasn't even begun, yet I've already won. Are you aware that you've hand-delivered everything I need to complete another batch of Cosmolotion? Shocker. Allow me to explain that you, King Graham the Imbecile, have once again... Yeah, 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 yeah. Wax poetic for two more hours, won't you? Pardon my vacant expression, though. I can barely hear out of my left ear anymore. Fine. Have it your way. I'll speak with brevity. Long sentences. Drawn out syllables to emphasize a point. Raising <laughs> my voice. More sesquipedalian words. Overuse of the term sesquipedalian. <laughs> and I'll need a hair from your beard for my final ingredient. See what's sundown? <laughs> Meet me at the floating island. Good chat. Ha, you get that? Because chat is cat in French. Ha ha. The relationship between Graham and Manny, I don't really know... It's not really a standard hero and villain relationship anymore. <laughs> so all these years, the cat cookie never got reversed? Really? But I thought Alex used it before, but it was temporary. And that's how he escaped. From Manny. So how come this one is permanent? Dad, we brought you some treats. Dad? Say something. Story. Gwendolyn, go get the nursemaids. No. What do you want me to do? Wh what can I get you? You want mom? Mom! Story. Sorry? No, story. Uh, the story. Help me finish it. 
Let's get him back in bed. Grab his feet. Try to escape. I thought I needed one more adventure. One last trophy to hang on these shelves. But the only treasures I need are standing right beside me. It's okay, love. You can stop fighting. It's time. Not before my story is done. You have to finish it. Me? I don't know how it ends. I'll help you. I, I can't. I'm not ready. Gart should tell it. Grandfather is passing his hat to you. I think you should take it. Grandpa, the greatest <laughs> adventurer to ever live, would do anything in his power to protect his family. As the sun set atop the floating island, Mordak placed the final goblet down for a toxic duel of wits. That's a great start. Welcome, friend. I'm glad you could make it. Mananan restored himself back into human form using the ingredients Grandpa had unknowingly brought to him. But he was weak. The germite crystal was the only thing keeping him alive. Mordak has carefully designed a series of trials to test our wits. Don't worry, he hasn't given me any answers. Some of the goblets have been topped with hypnotic powder. We will complete each station individually. If you drink from any of the tainted cups, you will lose and be under my spell, and vice versa. The goblets have been set up in stations, each with their own rules. I'll spare you the long speech and just let you read the rules. Ready to prove a goblin is smarter than a man? Oh, Just knowing that Graham isn't even well enough to tell his own story anymore. Stay away from that. It's not needed yet. Portal? Hmm. Portal to right outside my castle. Uh... He said stay away. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I wish you would hurry this along. I am putting in my resignation from the Brotherhood after you two are done playing this ridiculous game. Everybody besides me and Mananan thinks this is all ridiculous. My family, his family. You know what the scariest part about growing old is? Losing your mind. Oh god, please don't say that, because that's exactly what I'm thinking. There was one clue for each set of goblets. Someone must have thought themselves pretty clever. You're doing great, sweetheart. Three brothers wave, two of them knights, the other a knave. Knaves lie without fear, knights are truthful. Lend them your ear, only one cup is neutral. Only one goblet was safe to drink from. And I would have to listen to the testimony of these three guys. Cup one is safe, beware, royal guard B, 
always lies. Mm, okay. I'll assume you're telling the truth for now. Cup one is safe. Cups one and four are tainted. Okay, so right off the bat, you know that either A or B is the knave. Cup two is tainted, and Royal Guard A always lies. Is A the liar? I think so. If you listen to C, Cup 2 is tainted, and Royal Guard A always lies. Truthful. We assume he's truthful. Cups 1 and 4 are tainted. So basically, these two guys are telling me. 2? 1, 4 are tainted. So I can drink 3. He's lying. Yeah, this guy, A is a liar. 3 should be good. Finish this one, too. Simple, really. Fancy. It's a very simple thing, but I do like how, you know, instead of just saying truth tellers and liars, they added they they added their own medieval twist to it. Very very in character and in world. What's going on here? Which four goblets are safe to drink? This puzzle will reveal the link. Trolls carry napkins to wipe fruit juice from their chest. Dragons never eat grapes, the flavor they detest. Snoots and trolls peel their food before they ingest. Each creature eats a different type of fruit. Which treat pairs with the troll, dragon, badger, and snoot? Okay. Hmm. So I think what we want to do here is... We'll end up with one square. Hang on. Yeah, probably one square will be... Left over? I'm actually not too sure, but... I guess we'll figure it out. Dragons never... Okay, trolls carry napkins to wipe fruit juice. <laughs> Does that help? Because all of those fruits have juice, right? Uh, banana? Banana juice? <laughs> Uh, apple juice, orange juice, grape juice, definitely a thing. Dragons never eat grapes. Let's start there. That's a dragon, right? Yeah. The flavor they detest. Snoots and trolls. Hang on. There's a troll, dragon, badger, and snoot. The troll is the last thing. The snoot is the first thing? I don't know what a snoot is. Huh. Snoots and trolls peel their food before they ingest. So I don't think they would peel a grape. Would you peel a grape before you eat it? I don't think so. Snoots and trolls. We got it. Badgers. Badgers eat grapes. Um. Trolls carry napkins to wipe fruit juice. Orange juice? Apple juice? Snoots and trolls peel their food. Well, if they say it like that, does that mean that dragons don't peel their food? <laughs> I don't know. Well, if this is right, we could probably at least say this. Yeah. Like that? Oh! The thing that... The fruit that goes with trolls, they have juice, and you have to peel them. So, it's not a banana, unless if banana juice is a thing. Is banana juice a thing? Maybe I should Google this. Banana... Juice. Okay, bad news. It looks like that is a thing. <laughs> but I don't think, yeah, I don't think for, the, for this puzzle, bananas have juice. Not naturally, anyway. So, trolls do not eat bananas. Trolls do not eat bananas. The fruit juice. You peel apples before you eat them. You don't have to, but you can. But you have to peel oranges. 
Um, I don't really feel like anything here is super definite. But if I look at the line, trolls carry napkins to wipe fruit juice. And if it's between apples and oranges, then I would think it's an orange because apples have juice. But they don't squeeze out like that. Unless if you make juice on purpose. So if I say that, then I could... Uh, I don't know about that though. It's a little bit of guessing. I could say that. Yeah, and then now we just gotta figure out the dragon and the snoot. Snoots peel their food. You peel apples, you peel bananas. Dragons never eat grapes. Uh, I don't really think that's enough information. Snoots peel their food before they ingest. Hmm. You have to peel a banana. You have to peel a banana, but you don't have to peel an apple. Would that work? I don't know about that. That seems a little bit sketchy. It's like that. Hang on. Which cup is okay then? Any of those cups that are marked as a check mark? How do I know which cup is okay? Hurry up, Graham. We are not getting any younger. Uh, I don't know which one to pick. I guess I'll just try a cup. Oh. Oh. Neither of us are hypnotized, so let's continue on. Okay. You guys are nuts. What is this even? You guys are like testing wits? Like, I don't know what's happening. No one around you even cares about your little disputes anymore. Can you believe that after all these years, we're right back to where we started? <laughs> no kidding. Same thing with the hypnotism. Maybe the last one will be a duel of wits, the board game. What the heck? Oh my god. Minesweeper? Guards standing in formation, in four rows they will align. Pay attention to their location. No guard should repeat on the same line. Find the threes in their stations, and your cups will taste just fine. Find the threes in their Wait, is this a uh, Sudoku? No guard should repeat on the same line. Find the threes in their stations. Okay, so how is... Sudoku. Okay. I'm really bad at Sudoku. I love math, but I hate Sudoku. It's a little bit... It's not my thing. Let me have a think. Um... Oh. This is a three. No, 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 this is a four. Because this is a three. Because a four is here, which means it can't be a four here. And this is a one. This is a two. That's a three. Yep. Which means this is a one. We're getting somewhere. Kind of. The middle here, though. Three and four. Four. Three. Two. Three. Did we do this right? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Hey, that was a really easy Sudoku. Okay, so the threes are... <laughs> Not really much of a challenge for minds like ours. Oh. Even at, at this point, even Manny has acknowledged that we're pretty good. Where are all your friends now? Who will divinely intervene to prevent your failure? You're just jealous because you don't have friends. I have my own dreams to pursue. My novella is not going to write itself. <laughs> I don't see the point of all this. Me neither. It's two old men being stubborn. I'm afraid I can't help. I wish you would hurry this along. 
I am okay. putting in my re What is this? By the way, what are these symbols? I'm not too sure. Each digit reveals a set of adjacent black squares in the corresponding row or column. Multiple digits in a row or column reveal multiple sets of consecutive black squares, separated by at least one square. Fifteen of these cups are safe to drink. What? <laughs> I don't think I'm familiar with this puzzle. Each digit reveals a set of adjacent black squares in the corresponding row or column. Multiple digits in a row or column reveal multiple sets of consecutive black squares. I don't understand. Those instructions are hard to understand. Adjacent black squares. Multiple digits mean that there are multiple sets of consecutive black squares. Separated by at least one square. Okay. So I think that means one, one, one. One, one, one. Because they're all separated. There's three black squares separated by one square each. Five. So wouldn't that just be... Is it not like that? Two. Okay, so looking at the vertical column, this it has to be like this, right? Because two sets of two separated by one square. Four. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I need the instructions again. Each digit reveals a set of adjacent black squares corresponding in the corresponding row or column. Oh, then actually, actually, a set of black squares. No, this one should be blank because there's only one number here. Two. And there's two. Two, one. At least one square, separated by at least one. It can be more than one. Okay. These two are for certain, I think. The first two rows, but the everything else is a little bit of a... I'm not too sure. Oh, here. Four. One, two, three, four. And we know it can't be this one because of the first two rows. I think I'm doing this right. I am just really confused about the rules here. Each digit reveals a set of adjacent black squares. So four. Four means four adjacent black squares. I think. <laughs> Okay. Two? Uh, this should be right too because these, I mean, these blanks, they should be right as well as these ones. Which means one and one should be like this. Four? Like that? One, two, three, four. And then three in a row. Here, the horizontal. Like that. Two, one. Do we have 15? One, two, one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Hopefully that's right. Oh, that's not right. Yeah, I'm not too familiar with this puzzle. I'm not sure if they invented this or if there's a um, precedent for this. That. Mordak, you could have made these a Ooh. little more challenging. There are so many, okay? You can't have quantity and difficulty. Oh, gosh. <sighs> I told you, goblins are smarter than they look. He hasn't really aged all this time. His looks anyway. What the heck? What the heck? Kings can be brave, compassionate, or wise, but there is only one path that leads to all three. To find the one cup that is safe to drink, you must follow the path that begins on a triangle and ends on a three. Okay, you know what? All of these ones so far, they put a little bit of effort into making the questions interesting, like relating to medieval stuff, but that previous black square one, it was just like, find the black squares. <laughs> 
one path that leads to all three. To find the one cup that is safe to drink, you must follow the path that begins on a triangle and ends on a three. Okay. Am I just doing math? 12 minus 9 is 3. Plus 11. 3 plus 11, 14. So that's not 3. Can I pick which triangle? No. Well, okay. 12 minus 9 plus 10. So that's plus 1, that's 13. No. 12 minus 7 plus 1. So minus 6, that's 6. No. Okay, so it's not these three then. I don't think. Or unless of... Hang on. 8 minus 7 plus 11. 12. Nope. 8 minus 7 plus 1. 8 minus 7 plus 1, that's 2. Nope. 8 minus 5. 3 plus 1. 4. Nope. 8 minus 5, 3, plus 2, 5, no, okay, 6 minus 5, plus 1, 2, nope, 6 minus 5, plus 2, that's 3, isn't it? 6 minus 5 is 1, plus 3 is, uh, plus 2 is 3. One more to go. Think you can handle it? Oh my god, my brain. What the heck is that? Have you even decided who's going to inherit your kingdom? Why not pass it along to your oldest friend? You're blunt. <laughs> what the heck is... Is this 2048? A good king looks toward the future but is always conscious of what he is leaving behind. What? The symbols. The symbols. I gotta go back. There has been five other puzzles. Yep, and five symbols. Yeah. Red... Okay, so for the red diamond, it was three. Does that mean that three is okay? Oh, there's a thing. Wait, no, that we didn't find anything from this. But does that hmm. three? Oh, but this one was three too. That's a yellow clover thing. Oh, I can't pick it up again. I can't pick up the clue. Oh, I don't think I'm doing this right. Hmm. Something about these. Five. Yeah, I don't know how to get a number out of this one. Spades. Star. I don't know. A good king looks toward the future, but is always conscious of what he is leaving behind. Could it be the number of cups? Like, my concern about that is, if I'm using the number of cups, then why does it even matter that there are symbols? Like, it, mm, like if I say, this is four cups, and I come back here. Yeah, sure, there's a four, but it's not like I can link this back to the clover. So would it really be four? I can try. Three. I'm leaving three cups behind. Yeah, I mean, that seems to make sense. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12? There definitely is a 12. 
Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten, and then. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, did we do this one? Twelve? Ten. Ten. One more. We're missing one more puzzle. Oh, but see, this is the problem here. Because this is 12 cups. But this one is also 12 cups. That is a problem. Uh-oh. Yeah, I, I don't know if that's it. We could try putting it in. But that's not enough. Hmm. Oh, hang on! There's another 12! Oh! Maybe that's it then. Oh! The duel was at a standstill. Neither competitor could prove they were smarter than the other. Huh. I was afraid of this, friend. Although you started out as a lanky bumble ward, over the years my trials have conditioned your wits to equal mine. No matter. I have a backup plan. <gasps> this flame enchantment will ensure neither of us can leave until the other has perished. How about instead of wits, we engage in a lethal game of chance. You're gonna Grandpa rig it. had no choice but to play the game. He was trapped and his kingdom was on the line. I won this set of goblets from a game of wits with Lord Sawin. One of them holds an irreversible eradicating elixir. A powerful magic that will slowly destroy whatever it touches from the inside out. There are no special markings or any way to puzzle out which is the poisoned vessel. <laughs> if there was, I would have slipped it into the batter of your breakfast years ago. But what fun would that have been? We'll each take turns choosing a goblet to drink from until they're all gone and the better man wins. You'll drink first. Grandpa was at a loss. For the first time in his life, the four E's of puzzle solving could not inform his decision. There was no logic to puzzle out. No clues or hints. Just a simple choice of life or death. There are only two cups, though. Oh, don't mind that. Just a simple trinket. Leave that alone. It's just a decorative prop. Really, now? Oh, don't mind that. Well, we can't do anything here. Do we really have to drink? I can't get out of the screen. Take your time. There's no strategy here. Just blind luck. Something you've always excelled at. Is there really nothing? It seems that way. Leave that alone. It's... Mm, well, left and right. The right, I hope, is right. Well, I guess you won. Best at me. Good show, old friend. Guess I'll ingest this and call it a night. But you know I don't play fair. And you've just revealed where the elixir is hiding. <laughs> what? You played right into my trap. Just like that foolish archer. Oh! <gasps> what the heck? Oh my gosh! Daventry! Grandpa's life was spared, and our whole family moved to Tanalore. The end. No, Gwendolyn. What? 
It couldn't have ended like that. You know, if I chose that pump, it would have destroyed the very castle he was standing in. There was only one solution. He was out of options. Grandpa looked around at the kingdom he created and realized there was only one choice. Seriously? Oh my god, it's falling, it's falling. I need to think. What, are you telling me I have to drink the poison? This can't be it. No, Gwendolyn. You know that can't be right. Oh! No, Gwendolyn. You know that can't be right. Oh! Really? Close. But try again. Grandpa knew the eradicating elixir would slowly <gasps> destroy him from the inside. But Daventry would live on. That day, Manny oh. was outsmarted in a way he never imagined possible. In a way he could not comprehend. Huh. Nice move. That's why he's sick. I'll accept that. But let's see if I can help speed up the effects of that potion. You pushed a thinking man to brute Oh my force. god. I hope you're happy. You've already won. There's no need to torture him. It was at that moment, while his oh body my was god. being jerked through the air, that Mordak was reminded of his first encounter with Grandpa. And I spared him. I didn't do anything to him. Those memories stirred up something fierce inside Morton. Manny didn't save him from a life of goblin abuse. Grandpa did. And it was time he repaid the favor. Leave him be. I won't ask you again. I guess it's time I held your tongue. Oh my gosh. That's his brother. That's how Manny was defeated. Not even by Grandpa, but by Mordak. But now we know why he's so sick and why we can't cure him. Manny's enchantments over the castle were broken and he was never heard from again. Daventry continues to thrive and prosper thanks to the sacrifices made by King Graham, the greatest grandpa to have ever lived. Is he still... Oh, yes. He heard every word. Thank you, Gwendolyn. The hat suits you well. It was beautiful. You kids have always brought so much joy to your grandfather. All of his children have. All right, kiddos, it's bedtime. Say goodnight to Grandpa, and I'll tuck you in. Good night, Grandpa. I, I love you. Uh, I love you too, God. 
And I am proud of you. Thank you. That means a lot. I just want to say, you're the best grandpa and my favorite person in the world. I love you. And I'm so sorry you didn't get your last adventure. Sweetheart, there is nothing to be sorry about. I now know that all of my adventures will live on forever inside of you. As long as you keep telling my stories, they will never die. Thanks for sharing them with me, Grandpa. I love you. I love you too, dear. Go. Go get some rest. Wake me in the morning, and we can make some pancakes. Was completely depressing. Grandpa. Oh. Oh. I'm Gwendolyn. Yeah, and I guess my hood is inspired by Grandpa's cap. A little two feathers. Is he still... Is he still... I don't know... Look at the halls! King Graham and Amaya. King Graham and Alfie. Chronicles of King Graham's reign over Daventry. Alexander. I mean, Gwendolyn's family really does come from quite a background. Grandpa and Grandma. King Graham, the Brave. gosh I don't know what to say this is so depressing oh addendum 48677 it's huge What is the magic mirror supposed to show me? What I am in the future? It didn't show me anything. It's 
so fast. Just over the night and they took him away already? Anything else over here? No. My sweetheart, Gwendolyn. When you read this letter, you'll already know about the crown I have left for you and why. Please don't worry about me. I lived a long, fulfilling life, and I wouldn't change one decision. I've led this kingdom with all the bravery I could muster, and I've seen that same courage in your eyes. But I would never force upon you rules and addenda to protect my legacy. You must make your own decisions. I only share my stories in the hope that they would help you down whichever path you choose for Daventry. Go forth and be Queen Gwendolyn the Brave, or the Patient, or the Dragon Slayer. Just know that I will always be watching over you and kissing your forehead from the stars above. Getting to me a little bit. Wow. <laughs> so I'm still really depressed right now, sorry. Oh. I don't think I actually ever expected them to show Graham's death. And I know they didn't show the body or anything, but that was pretty much as clear as it gets without the body. And like I said before, I don't really have the context of the previous King's Quest games to guide me, but just from playing this one, I always felt like that, even though sometimes it got a little grim. Overall, it was a really comedic, fun, entertaining series. And for such a series to so explicitly, without ambiguity, show that the main character has passed away is... it's heartbreaking. Getting old sucks, man. I don't know what else to say. This episode, though, overall... I, I don't think I enjoyed it, but not because it was a bad episode. It was just really sad. I can't place my finger on what it is, but I don't feel like they covered what I wanted them to cover. Like, they spent a lot of time on the whole Graham versus Manny thing, but do I really care by the point Graham's pretty much dying? I don't know. I guess the good thing is that Gwendolyn seems to have taken a lot of lessons from Grandpa's stories and now she's going to grow up to be her own adventurer. And I guess we'll see more of that in the epilogue because I can't imagine the epilogue talking more about Graham. Overall though, I enjoyed King's Quest 2015 much more than I thought I would. I feel like I play a lot of serious games these days, so this was a nice change of pace without it being all out crazy, like Tales of the Borderlands or something like that. I don't think episodes 2 to 5 ever got to be as open-ended as episode 1 though, 
that was a real hooker and it was a really long episode too. It took me like five hours. So many different choices I could have made in that episode. But it did progressively get more and more linear, which, to be honest, it's not a huge concern that I have. It's already a lot less linear than Telltale Games, which I guess is the modern standard for what an adventure game is like. And I really enjoyed the more medieval setting too. It's not a genre I've touched for a good while now. Actually, I don't even know when the last time I played something that was set in this kind of time period was. Hmm. And even though my time with Daventry and King Graham was probably considerably shorter than a lot of you watching right now, I still feel like I made a connection here. I care about this world. I care about Daventry. I care about King Graham. Which is really nice, and it makes it all that much harder to say goodbye. But all good things must come to an end, I guess. Even though there were a few bumps along the way- <coughs> Chapter 2. <coughs> no, I'm kidding. That Even that chapter in hindsight, if, if I had a nap before that chapter, yeah, that's what I was missing. Next time, next time before I play a puzzle thing, I'll be sure to take a nap first. <laughs> but yeah, even with all that stuff, I think the best way to describe how King's Quest made me feel is a sense of wonder. I feel like a little kid being dropped off in some new, completely foreign world, being like, ooh, what's this? Ooh, what's that? And it's a really nice feeling. I enjoyed it a lot. Mm-hmm. So this is the end of King's Quest Episode 5, Chapter 5, The Good Knight. Although King Graham's past now, you know, all good things come to an end and people dying, that's just a fact of life. It's like that famous quote, I don't remember the exact wording anymore, but a person dies twice. The first time is when they stop breathing, when their physical body dies. And the second time is when their name is spoken for the last time. In that regard, I don't think King Graham will ever die. I mean, just look at how this game was made like 20 years after the first game came out. It's amazing how many older players are waiting for this. Yeah. Anyway, let's not make this so final because we still do have an epilogue, which the last time I looked it up, I think they were saying that it would come out before 2016 ends and there aren't that many days, so I'm a little bit worried, but you can bet that I'll be on top of it and it will be here, right on this channel, when that is released. Thank you for joining me in King's Quest Chapter 5, The Good Knight, and I hope to see you all back for the epilogue. See you soon.